Hi Libra, I'm Anisha and you can also visit me at www.tarobyanisha.com and this is your mid-month forecast on career and finance. Libra, we have a beautiful Grand Earth Trine on the 14th of March and I've spoken at length about it in my love and relationship video so I'm not going to be reviewing it in detail. But just to give you a gist of it, it's a fantastic alignment A and it is something which is really going to uh, give you the much needed help in your workspace. It's a good time for you to be looking out for a job, for a new project. Um, you know, for those of you who have been in discussions for the past few months, you will get some amount of a clarity on a direction. What is it that you want to be doing with your work? A lot of you will take a decision which will not be able to be undone. You know, it would be something that you really won't be able to go back on, which is something very nice. So a lot of you, if you have been thinking of, uh, you know, uh, doing that art course uh, in Paris and you've just been thinking for the longest of time, should you, shouldn't you, a lot of you will actually take that decision and uh, just follow your heart and it will benefit you so you don't have to worry. Mercury goes retrograde on the 12th and it's going to slow down communication for you to quite an extent. So there could be some amount of a misunderstanding through emails, SMSs. So you just have to be a bit careful about, uh, um, you know, what is it that you're saying, to whom is it that you're saying and be very, very careful about the written stuff as well. Uh, try and not to be very hasty in your speech. Try and, um, you know, be as simple as possible. The lesser, the better. I think that is uh, uh, really the message for a Mercury retrograde. Around the 18th as well, you are going to be looking back at a conversation that may have started in the first week of March. It could be regarding a work or a project that you have been thinking of, uh, uh, you know, uh, picking it up and should you be doing it, should you not be doing it. And you may have thought that you have an answer at that point of time, but you will find yourself uh, revisiting uh, that uh, conversation again. There could also be some news coming in from an ex-colleague or someone whom you've worked with at some point of time and it could be a bit of a surprise or maybe even a shock. It doesn't really directly impact you but just that the news is going to take you uh, a bit by surprise. On the 20th we have sun that walks into your sign so it's going to give you again a small window of opportunity and this is the time again where you can, um, you can look at uh, I wouldn't say newer projects, but yes, you can explore job opportunities. It's not a great time to commit your dreams. Be very careful that if it's a new project, if it's a new contract, or if it's a fresh deal that you're looking at, try and hold out till about first week of April. That is a time when Mercury starts getting direct. It's only till the 23rd that finally Mercury comes out of uh, Pisces shadow and becomes, you know, uh, direct and it's there in its full glory. But uh, till about first week, uh, I would say it's safe, but try not to sign any papers in uh, March. You will not be having the complete information that's required. So you may feel a bit, you know, shortchanged by end of the month. So be a bit careful out there. Around the 29th, you might be feeling a bit emotional. I mean, it could be regarding a work decision or it could be regarding something that you have been... Uh, uh, you know, you have put a lot of hopes onto it and it may not materialize. So it's just going to make you a bit emotional. It's just one day. So that's about it. Stay calm, stay cool, keep it simple and um, have a, the lovely 15 days. I'll see you again in April. And thank you so much for watching.